So, hi everyone. I thought I'd um, do another post about scams. Um, I've been posting a fair amount of them via my blog um, and because I've been having a lot of just generic junk email that I thought I'd share with people because you never know if it's going to end up in your regular inbox or if somebody's actually going to think they won some sort of a prize or that the government's going to give them money and the list just goes on from there. But I had another social security number call me today. And this one, actually, the message is so overused that it starts to fall out as it gives the telephone number. So I'll play it for you guys in just a second. Um, so stay tuned. So this is the actual message that was left on my voicemail. I assume that it, the machine started speaking as soon as the voicemail prompt went on. So this is what was left as possible. Again, this call is from Social Secure Ministry. Number to reach argument is 877-389-9951. I repeat it. 877-389-9951. Thank you. So as you heard, the message was so overplayed, it couldn't even read off the entire phone number. Um, I did Google the 1-800 number because I've been doing that a lot lately just out of curiosity to see where the numbers originate from because sometimes scammers do use real 1-800 numbers from real businesses and the businesses do not know that their 1-800 number has been spoofed. Um, I couldn't find this exact 1-800 number but um, as I shared with you guys earlier this summer, I've had a few of these similar calls. Um, again, that it just said that the Social Security office had contacted me and that I needed to call them back. Um, once again, as a reminder, the United States government does not call you. They usually send you letters. So they have um, co hard copies and files of things like that. So if you receive a call like this, do not reply back to the number because you do not know where your phone call will be routed to. And I can probably assure you nine times out of 10, it will not be to the US Social Security office. Um, but I thought I wanted to share that with you guys. And I want to share a couple of other ones that I had come across too. I had one the other day and I'll link the um, information for these um, in the description below because they were blog posts. So you can actually see the emails. I didn't save them. I just copied and pasted the emails into the blog post. But I had one that was quite interesting. It was kind of like a mix between the inheritance, the inheritance scams and like an investment scam and basically like wire fraud. And it was, I actually had to translate it because it was in Dutch. So I, or Danish according to Google Translate. So I translated the email and basically it was this long little winded story about how somebody's father had died and that the sender happened to be, I guess, a teenage girl or a college student girl. And that she was um, asked to invest money with someone in another country. So I kind of went through that and I saw that and I was like, wow, this is just crazy. And some of them are so elaborate sometimes as you read them, especially that one since it was translated. Um, you can see how they pick and choose different types of scams. Like I said, that one was kind of a mix of wire fraud, an inheritance basically, and I'll pay you for being kind for helping me sort of thing. So it was kind of like a mix of a few different scams all in one. I also had another one um, that I shared recently, which was again, like sort of like the inheritance scam or you or is basically like you won money or you were chosen to to be given a select amount of money. And I've noticed a lot of these lately are coming from Africa again, because I was um, Googling the information that was in some of the posts, like they'll have like a phone number for you to contact. So I'll copy the phone number and then I'll, I'll paste it into Google and it'll give me basic information on where and if there's scams or anything like that. I highly suggest you guys do that if you think that something isn't right or Again, contact if it's something claiming to be like FedEx or a bank or a well-known institution that you work with all the time, contact them before you contact, before you re reply back to the emails. 
And a lot of the emails that I've noticed too all come from either foreign email addresses, which you can see it's not always like an AOL or it'll be like a pp.com, which is from Asia. And there's other ones too where it'll have like a dot um, FX, which is, or FR, which is France. I saw I had one come in from like some sort of French um, domain name. And it's kind of interesting because when you start to get in there and you start reading stuff, you see that there is a whole host of, of um, scams that are going around. But um, I just thought I'd let you guys know. And sorry, it's getting towards the end of the day. So I'm just yakety yakety. But um, it is very easy for people to fall prey for, to these. Um, and it is kind of strange too that it, somebody would really think that they're going to get $5,000 or a million dollars or X amount of money because somebody from another country thinks they deserve it. But you never know. So um, I'll add the link to the um, blog post where I share the one that I stated that that weird mix of, of scams and uh, the uh, one from Africa in the description below. So I hope you guys have a good rest of your day. Bye.